Hello everyone! Today's lesson is about intersection of sets, and today we're going to continue our virtual role play. From the last video, I shared to you my online business Arat Na, and it caters food. And so, I'll be waiting for your calls and just give me your orders. Our telephone number is 123-321. I'm hearing a call. I want to order one hot silog, one pork silog, and one toss silog. That's all. Thank you. Miss Diane's orders are toss silog, hot silog, and pork silog. Now, toss silog is made up of tocino, sinangag, and itlog. Hot silog is made up of hot dog sinangag and itlog, while pork silog is made up of pork chop sinangag and itlog. So let us now arrange her orders. So this is what we need. So we have the paper box, not the styrofoam. Say no to that. So let's prepare the three rice or the three sinangag, then the three eggs, then we have the sino hot dog, and the pork chop. Since orders are completed, ready to serve! Let us define intersection of sets. The intersection of sets A and B is the set of elements which are common to both A and B. It is denoted by A and the symbol for the intersection and then B. Now, let us relate it to our virtual role play a while ago. Let's watch this again and see how the food was being prepared. From the orders Tosilog, Hatsilog, and Portsilog, this is how she arranged the orders. She started with the rice, three rice, then the three eggs, then one by one, the tocino, the hot dog, and the pork chop. Now, what can you say about the arrangement of the orders? Do you notice something? Well, if you notice something, that is related to our lesson in math. As you observe, when we define the intersection of sets, it is said that there is or there are common elements between the sets. So, when we say common elements, it is Similar elements. From the tosilog, hatsilog, and porksilog, what are the common elements? That's correct. Rice and then the egg. Those are the examples of the intersection of sets in real life situation. To understand it further, let us have specific examples. Find the intersection of the following sets. For number 1, set A has the elements 1, 2, and 3. And set B has the elements 3, 4, and 5. To get the intersection of A and B, we must list the elements of A, which are 1, 2, and 3. Then, the symbol for the intersection. Then, we must also list the elements of B, which are 3, 4, and 5. Now, to get the intersection, we need to find what is common. What is similar? Sa Tagalog, ano daw yung pareho? That's correct! And therefore, the intersection of A and B is 3. In number 2, set C has the elements 4, 5, 6, and 7. And set D has the elements 4, 5, 8, and 10. So to get the intersection of C and D, we must list the elements of C, which are 4, 5, 6, and 7. Then the symbol for the intersection. Then the elements of D, which are 4, 5, 8, and 10. So again, to get the intersection, what is common? Or what are the common elements? Are there any similar elements? Well, if yes, what is it? 
That's correct. And therefore, the similar elements are 4 and 5. So, the intersection of C and D will be 4 and 5. It's easy, right? So, for number 3, set E has the elements M and N. And set F has the elements X, Y, and Z. Now, let us get the intersection of E and F. So, let us write the elements of E, which are M and N. Then, the symbol for the intersection. Well, next, write the elements of F, which are X, Y, and Z. Now, the question is, are there common elements? Meron bang pareho? Wala? Not? Now, what will you do if there are no common elements? So, the intersection of E and F will be written as this. As you observe, there are no elements inside the braces. Why is it so? It is because there are no common elements between the two sets. Sa Tagalog, walang pareho sa E at sa F. Now, if there are no common elements, it means that there are no elements. And if there are no elements, then it will be an empty set or null set. And the symbol for this will be like this. So again, if there are no elements, then it is also known as an empty set or null set. So let's practice. You can pause the video and try to answer this. Let us read first the direction. Find the intersection of the following sets. So the given are... Set A has the elements 1, 3, 5. Set B has the elements 2, 4, 6, and 8. And set C has the elements 8 and 9. And the last one, set D has the elements 3, 5, 7, and 10. So this is what you're going to look for. For number 1, the intersection of A and B. Number 2, the intersection of B and C. Number 3, the intersection of C and D. And number 4, the intersection of A and D. So again, you can pause the video while answering this. And you need to remember that you need to find the common elements. Let us now check your answers. Number 1, empty set or null set. Why? Because there's no common elements between A and B. For number 2, the answer is 8 because 8 is present in B and in C. For number 3, the answer is empty set or null set because there are no common elements between C and D. And for the last one, we have 3 and 5 because 3 and 5 can be found in A and in D and therefore they are common to the both sets. So check your work. Well, if you got 4 out of 4, then very good. So now, we're going to study intersection of sets using Venn diagram. Let us read the given direction. Find the intersection of the following sets. For number 1, set A has the elements 1, 2, and 3. And set B has the elements 3, 4, and 5. Now, we're going to answer this using Venn diagram. We'll be using rectangle to represent the universal set and the circles to represent the subsets. So set A has the following elements, 1, 2, and 3. Notice that in B, the elements are 3, 4, and 5. And therefore, 3 must be part of B. So as you observe, 3 is part of A and 3 is part of B. And therefore, if we're going to find the intersection of A and B, we must look for what is common. And how are we going to show it? That's it. That is because 3 is present in A and 3 is also present in B. And the shaded region 
is what we know as the intersection. It is the part where the two circles overlap. And to write the answer, we must find out what are the elements inside that intersection. And therefore, the intersection of A and B is 3. Let us illustrate number 2. Set C has the following elements, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Observe that 4 and 5 can also be found in set D. Because the elements of set D are 4, 5, 8, and 10. And to get the intersection of it, we'll go back to the definition, find the common. And how are we going to illustrate it? So as you observe, the common elements are written under the intersection of the circle. It is the part where the two circles overlap. And the overlapping area, or the overlapping portion of it, will be the shaded region. And the shaded region will be the answer. And what are those elements? We have 4 and 5 as the intersection of C and D. Let us illustrate number 3. Set E has the elements M and N, and set F has the elements X, Y, and C. As you observe, there are no common elements. Now, how are we going to illustrate it? Is there a shaded region? It's correct. There's no shaded region. And therefore, the intersection of E and F will be an empty set, or null set. Questions? Well, if none, let's proceed to this. Let's practice. You can pause the video while answering this. So again, get the scratch because you're going to answer the intersection by using Venn diagram. So find the intersection of the following sets. Number 1. Set M has the elements 1, 2, and 3. And set N has the elements 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. For number 2, set G has the elements A and B, and set H has the elements B, C, and D. And for number 3, set X has the elements 1, 2, and 3, and set Y has the elements 8 and 9. So you can pause the video while answering this. Good luck! Let us now check your answers for number 1. So set M has the elements 1, 2, and 3. And set N has the elements 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. And therefore, the intersection will be the shaded region. And what is it? That's correct. The intersection of M and N is 3. Let us have number 2. Set G has the elements A and B. And set H has the elements B, C, and D. So, the intersection will be the shaded region. And the shaded region is... That's correct. And therefore, the answer will be... The intersection of G and H is B. For number 3, X has the elements 1, 2, and 3. And Y has the elements 8 and 9. Observe that there's no common elements, and therefore, there will be no shaded region. So the answer will be... It's correct. The intersection of X and Y will be an empty set. So check your answers. If you got three, then very good. So for your assignment, study about complement and difference of two sets. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.